Alright, g'day guys and welcome back tonight to another video focused on Realmworks. As you can see by the, uh, the screen in front of you, I'm playing around with something quite different tonight. Um, obviously the Black Friday sales are starting to skyrocket and uh, I saw this one called Face Rig come up on Steam and it spiked my interest. Now Face Rig is a application that allows you to record uh, videos um, and basically it takes your facial image and puts it onto something a bit more interesting like an animal or a creature and I thought hey maybe we could use this to sort of make some interesting NPC videos and then we can try and put those into realm work so we can play them through the player view and uh, we'll see how we go so went ahead and purchased it, um, have been playing around all night, my daughter took over it for quite a few hours and she's had an absolute ball with it, but um, anyway, let's jump over and let's show you what it's all about. Alright, so in front of me, you can see Face Rig, and as you can see, I am now Count Dracula, and I am talking to you via, obviously, um, well, nothing's really changed. Um, <laughs> it's a fun little tool. Uh, it's it's quite basic. It seems to capture your face, um, and once it's got your face, uh, it basically takes a uh, recording. Um, or not a recording, but it keeps like a, a mask of your face, and it must obviously just map it to your mouth and your movement points, and oh, off it goes. So it works pretty easily. Um, it's got some really cool stuff as well, so I think everyone loves this guy. Obviously uh, the raccoon from, uh, oh, what's that movie that's very, very popular. Um, yeah, you can sort of make some really fun stuff and it's probably not working as well as it should because it's night time for me, but um, yeah, I, I really do quite looking at myself when I've got this view set going on. Um, but I wanted to try some more stuff with it. I wanted to try and make it sound a bit more NPC-ish. Uh, I did have a poke around here. It's got a voice effect panel uh, that allows you to record, obviously, your voice effects. But that didn't really work for me. Uh, it was very limited in its options. So I went and played with some different software. That's where I found this MorphVox Pro, and as you're about to hear, we can sort of make things uh, sound a little bit different. So here's MorphVox Pro for you to see. As you can see on the side here, I've got a whole heap of different voice options that I can select. So here we go, we're going to turn on Morphing. And I am going to become... What have we got down here? Sorry. Some sort of disruption, but hello, my name is Gruul, and I live in the town of Otacon, and I have come here to destroy you. <laughs> uh, so you can probably have quite a little bit of fun with it. Um, I'm running Strahd. Um, Agnes? So hello, my name is Agnes, and I, I, I would really like to sell you some, some lovely pies that I've made. They were, um, they're very, very tasty, and I think that, um, I, I think that you will enjoy them. They're very fresh. I made them this morning from a little bit of a, a, a little bit of meat that I hacked up and cooked in my own oven. <laughs> so.
so, as you can see, and I'll turn the morph back on now, because it is really quite confusing to probably listen to me with all this going on, um, you can have a little bit of fun. Um, but the question is, how can you make this useful for a role-playing game? And, um, yeah, I think I, I think I figured it out. So, I tried to export video out of this, and it exports into a funky format that didn't work very well for me, and I had some struggles getting the audio to work. Um, so I've actually gone ahead and I've done something different in that I'm using my, my video recording software, which is OBS, uh, to record... Uh, over the window in order to give me um, what I want to see. So I hit all this and I, I got this sort of uh, straight up video image and I exported that using OBS and then I did some funking around getting it into a uh, mp4 file, I had to do some format changing but the end result I'll go back to my world almanac The end result was that I could actually go ahead and put this into a Realmworks file. So what I did is I went down and I put in an add snippet below and I used the documents and media and I put in a video file. All right, and you can see that that goes straight in. Um, now, the first time I did this, Realmworks did not play. Um, when I went in and pressed play, it came up with a message that said I needed to download a codec pack. Uh, so I did that, then I exited out of Realmworks and got back in. Um, but basically all you, all you do is you, you come in here and you, just like an image, you connect this, uh, this snippet up to a, uh, a video file that you've created using, well I did it with OBS from, from FaceRig, which is really quite... Uh, Quite fun. I might change myself over to. What was I having fun with? My daughter was loving this rabbit. So um, yeah, what you do is you come over to Realmworks, you put the file in, and uh, then you can press play. Obviously, I'll just forget all that. And uh, pressing play will bring it up inside of Realmworks, allowing you to watch your video. Aromas of grease and well-oiled wood. Hit your nostrils as you pull open the door. So that works quite well. Um, and then obviously you've got the show in play of you. So if we do that, uh, I might need to change this so that you can see it, given what I'm doing with all my different screens and trying to do this on one display so you can see what I'm doing. Nope. Try go here. There we go. Now the refresh rate on this is a little bit crazy, but let's see what happens. I'm doing way too much with my computer at the moment. I've, I've been punishing it while I test out all these different applications and things. Uh, we'll try go back to here. And then back to here. Alright, just hold with me. It's just bugging out. So videos is probably something that's not optimized greatly. I've not seen anyone else really play with it. But, ta-da! The aromas of grease and well-oiled wood hit your nostrils as you pull open the door. This 10 by 20 foot room is filled with intricate machinery. Except for small spaces between the stone gears and the iron chains and pulleys. On the other side of the machinery, to the south, is a rectangular shaft that rises up from the darkness and continues past this room. Attached to the west wall is the steel plate that has an iron lever protruding downwards. 
So there you go. I, I think this could be a lot of fun. Um, I'm personally thinking about uh, things that... Well, this poor little rabbit. Um, oh, for anyone who knows BJ Hensley, she's obviously very, very popular in the uh, the child sort of adventure and the young young adventure modules for Pathfinder and D&D. And um, well, I, I know she's been trying to get some of her content into Realmworks and uh, imagine, you know, something like this being used and actually embedded into the, the Realmworks files um, already there. Um, actually spoken by someone who's probably got a bit of voice acting skills and you know you can just press play from the Realmworks file and uh, show that to the kids so I, I think you could have a lot of fun with that um, it's probably a bit dark for me now I can see it's 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 keeping up with my fate but it's not a hundred percent but yeah I don't know this is just this is really quite fun for no really good reason um, and you know, <laughs> where's my, oh, we don't have the Lich Lord. Test. Yeah, there we go. Good afternoon and welcome to my domain. Tonight, you are going to die. So please sit back and roll once. For the whole evening. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. We'll go back to my normal voice. So there you go. That's that's basically face rig, um, voice. Uh, sorry, face manipulation software. Um, Morphox Pro and Realmworks all sort of coming together to create something that would allow you to pre-record um, NPC messages and NP NPC sort of scripts. Uh, so you can press play at your table. Um, it, it could work. It could be quite an interesting sort of uh, fun sort of exercise. Um, I'm sure there's people out there who could also, you know, if you're quick on your feet, you could actually figure out how to get this face rig facing your players using your player view window live with your camera facing your GM station so that you could actually have live conversations with them as well if you wanted. Like take Realmworks out of the equation and just use this. I think that could be a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> very easy software to use though. Um, lots and lots of fun. My four-year-old daughter had an absolute blast with it, singing her heart's content out this afternoon. And yeah, I think you could you could really sort of uh, do some unique stuff. So anyway, check it out, guys. If this uh, video has been interesting, if it's been useful to you, uh, please do subscribe to my channel so you're obviously uh, notified when new videos come out. Um, and as always, if there's any videos you'd like to see or any help you need with Realmworks um, or Hero Lab, uh, just yell out in the forum so, or on Facebook and uh, I'm usually around. But anyway, guys, have a great night and I will speak to you where I see you.